Well, with a record high inflation, most people are trying to save what they can. Joining us to talk about some of the common money mistakes you might be making is President and CEO of Wilsey Asset Management, Brent Wilsey. All right, Brent, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this because this yes. is something that is everybody can, yeah. can be affected like this. And you've got bullet points here, and I'm looking at your first one. Buying a car above what you should be buying. And this is so hard not to do because you, <clears throat> you're you at home, you have a budget, like, okay, I'm going to spend $40,000 for a car. You go into the dealership, and all of a sudden, you're ready for a $40,000 car. The, the salesperson says, well, what's your monthly budget? Now, in reality, you have no idea. So you throw out some number, and it's amazing how magically that dealer can make it, that number work for you. And by the time it's all said and done, you walk out, wait a minute, I paid 55000 for this car because of the monthly budget. Well, you don't want to do that because when you get a higher expensive car, repair is going to be more, depreciation is more, right. you might have to buy you know, premium gas and so forth. So your whole budget went out the window because you didn't stick to it. You got to say, no, don't show me the $50,000 cars, show me the $35,000 cars that you can buy it for and that range of thirty five dollars to $40,000. Right. So stick to what you went in with and tell them, I have no idea what my budget is, but I want to buy a car for $40,000. Yeah, it is a depreciating asset. Yes, it really is. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> next one down the line, uh, spending too much on entertainment. This is a tough one because if you don't have a budget, which you should, especially now with inflation, mm -hmm. you've got to have a budget because like, yeah, let's go to dinner. Oh yeah, our friends called us, let's do this. Oh yeah, let's go to the movie. And before you know it, you're, you're spending on entertainment is way out of control. Now, I do recommend credit cards, but I do say, make sure you pay them off because now you can track what your spending is. Have a budget, you'll spend a thousand a month or fifteen hundred a month for entertainment, whatever it may be, and stick to it and then verify with yourself at the end <clears throat> on your credit card that you stayed with it. Now, use a cash reward credit card because if you do that, the next year it may pay for your free vacation because of those cash rewards that you got. Ah, good advice. All right. This, now this one's touchy. This one's touchy. I know where you're going. Having a significant other that's too expensive. Yeah. And I do want to point out, it's just not one sex, which people will be thinking, oh, it's the women. It's not just the women. Mm -hmm. Guys can go very high on hobbies, golfing, guns, all cars, all these things. So it's not either or, but what you have to do if you're in a relationship relationship and, and if you're I, I'm gonna jump into the dating side here if you are dating somebody that's very high maintenance and very expensive you may not want to marry that person I'm sorry because it's not gonna change right but if you're in that relationship already try to do things together try to get a budget together talk about it saying I know you love doing this but hey instead of spending two thousand a month let's go down a thousand dollars a month because we're we're not putting anything in our 401k so you know have a conversation with a significant other about it because everybody has their vices that they want to do I do you do everybody does but you got to put them under control because it's not fair to the other person that you're with and finally on the list not investing this is a, a tough one because people always have excuses I've been doing this now investing for over 40 years for clients and people always have excuses oh it's too expensive oh it's too low oh it's it's not the right time oh I don't have this stop making excuses and I know right now like oh the markets very volatile I'm gonna wait till things get better which I always laugh at because when things get better that means you're gonna pay a higher price with these investments so don't make excuses say okay in my budget I can afford a hundred two hundred five hundred a month whatever it is and do it don't try to time the market don't try to make excuses for it because I've seen people that I've known for 10 15 years they told me yeah 10 years ago yeah I'm gonna invest with you I'm gonna invest with you and I said you know I don't bug people but just like they never invest and they get to the, the retirement like yeah I'm not doing very well and it's just Stop making excuses and invest something. Start the process. Yeah, just get to start the process. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, quickly, any uh, seminars coming up? We just had one uh, last Thursday. Uh, we don't have one for three months, but uh, people can go to our website. We've got newsletters there and so forth to help people with financial tips and so forth. Uh, smartinvesting2000.com. Very easy to find. All right. Brent Wilsey, always great to chat with you. Thank Thanks, you. Brent.